Let's move it right along. Our next performer. Ironically enough, our next performer is one of the last remaining eligible bachelors in Malibu Beach. Please welcome Mr. Don Hamilton, everybody. <laughs> Kitty waxing. <laughs> really, yeah. I, I, think, I think the main thing is the last, the last pretty girl I laid a big wet one on, she told me I had bad breath. And then I, I was way ticked off. But you know how sisters can be. I was a, a new patient, so I walked in there. <laughs> I said, pardon me, but I hear tell you folks give out free candy and lollipops here. <laughs> I've, got, I've got one hell of a sweet tooth. Can you help me out here? another meeting in the valley. Right next door was a uh, Cocaine Anonymous meeting. It was a 12th <laughs> 20 people in a circle, and I walked in late, and I said, pardon me, but is this the incest anonymous group? <laughs> Every single one of them kind of looked up at me like, whoa, this is a scary thing. <laughs> but anyway, these things are a lot of fun. And Lou, you did a great job on the introduction. I just wanted to say I know my name is spelled D-O-N, but it's pronounced Charday. <laughs> my name to be pronounced Da'on. Right. I'm taking after Demi Moore. Excuse me, I'm taking after Demi. Because we in the entertainment industry have the right and the pleasure to not only be very special, but be very difficult. Did my neck stick out? That was me. It's weird. The only other time that happens is when I'm in a state of, well, arousal. And for some reason, I turned into that Jim Carrey's Fire Marshal Bill character. And it's kind of like, oh yeah, there you go. Now you're up. Keep it going. Now don't look up. Just keep my head. Just keep your head. My head down. That's it. Now you're down. shared with some friends, and they're like, oh, you know, they cheerfully tried to fix me with these one-liners. Oh, don't worry, you know, it's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Or, uh, life's like a box of chocolates, one day you'll find a sweet one. It's like, yeah? Well, that's fine if you're one of the lucky ones, one of the stars, the rich of the finest. But if you're not, life can be more like a massive, swirling, sucking eddy of despair in an ever blackening universe. How do you like that box of chocolates, Mr. Fixit? Hey, I'm in the construction business, you can tell by the boots. And, uh, of course, it's, it's one of the last occupations we're making cat calls to pretty ladies on the job site. It's pretty much standard operating procedure, right? And 
Yeah, I just got to say a couple of things. For one thing, ladies, we don't necessarily like to say that stuff that we say. The other thing is, you know, it's like, uh, do you really think we think we're going to get a date by saying that stuff? Here's an example okay. on the job site. Frederick, have you been to the Getty lately? Oh, they've got an exceptional new Florentine exhibit. It's just outstanding. Oh, it looks like the, the boss is looking this way. I better get busy. Hey, mamacita! Hey, how you doing? I'll come out here and straighten out my plumber! I just hate this part, Frederick. Don't sit there! Come sit right here! Come on, I guess you'll wait for free! Anyway, I do like construction. I really do. I like construction. It's just that I have four fingers and a thumb that would strongly disagree. You guys have been on the job site. You've seen the movie. You know, it's a hard to reach area. And you're ting, 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 wow! Pause for pain to reach, brain and yelp and scream and cuss and rant and rain and yelp and scream and cuss and rant and rain. Yeah, you've seen that joke, so. Anyway, we listen to a lot of radio. Why is it every time I turn on the radio, I get this? Simon Sealy, Sir of Springer, Sturt and Foster won't eat anybody's advertised right to your back to this free! Is there anybody else out there that just wants to stuff this guy inside one of those mattresses? <laughs> you know? Of course, that would be a little difficult because it looked like he weighs in at about, oh, two and a half metric tons. <laughs> but anyway, somebody's got to clue this guy. It's not sit and sleep, it's lay and sleep. There you go. <laughs> Lay and sleep, what a concept. No wonder the guy's all cramped up because he thinks he has to stay and sleep. Uh, remember he had the, you know, the ad is, we'll beat anybody's price of your mattress is free. So I placed an ad. Fuck this guy. I've been sleeping real well. Because I got my mattress for free. Hey, you've been a great audience. Thanks a lot for coming out.